Welcome to the DK Custom Products YouTube channel. Today, we're going to install a big improvement on front suspension on the Sportster. We've already done the rear suspension. Now we're doing the front suspension so that Mitch will have a good quality ride on this bike. Today we're going to be installing the Intimidators in the front fork, which is a dynamically adjusting valving system for front forks. We have an entire video that you can see on how these work. We'll put that in the upper left hand corner. Before we begin, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, we'd appreciate it. It helps us out a lot and it helps other people who are watching the video. So these are, the, these are the intimidator valves that go in the front forks. We're going to be draining out the fluid that's in there and putting this new fluid in. And it, the intimidators use a different kind of fluid. Again, look at the length that we put in uh, the corner earlier to show how these work, why they are so much better than the stock suspension. It's a simple one-page instructions that come with it. And depending on which size intimidators you use, you may be using a different fluid. But for the Sportster, which uses the 39 millimeter intimidator valves, it uses the five weight four coil. I also have something to measure the ounces because you got to put the correct amount of fork fluid in there. And if you come around, you'll notice we have this strapped down at the back on both sides. We have a lift here that's lifting the front of the bike up and we have that front tire off the ground. Now there are two ways to install the intimidators. One is to take your front wheel off, loosen the two pinch clamps and slide the fork out and work with the fork on the bench. And that is the better way. But the fact of the matter is that 90% of the people do it with them on the bike. So we're going to show you how to do it on the bike. So the first thing we're going to do, because we have to get, we have to remove these fork cap covers right here and pull the spring out. And because of the handlebars that are on here, we're going to move these handlebars off and put them down here out of the way. So we have plenty of work, working room there. We have the bars out of the way. And we're going to be removing these caps, but let's just run through the instructions real quick. Drain oil from forks. If you have drain plugs in the forks, you will not need to remove the forks. We're going to be removing these top caps and we're going to remove the spring, spacer and spring that's in there. So the first step is to remove these. When you remove these, there is tension on them, depending on how much preload is in there right now. We don't know what previous owners have done with this, but this may pop up a little. So we're going to drain out the fork fluid from in this fork. So while that's draining, let's talk about the spacers. So these are the spacers that are factory. Now, um, to get a little bit more stiffness, what you can do is take some PVC and cut them a little bit longer. But we're actually going to be putting the intimidators are going to go in right like this. So they're going to add an extra five eighths of an inch. So it would be like putting an extra five eighths inch longer spacer in there. And so we're not going to make the spacer any longer. We're also not going to make it any shorter because uh, Mitch comes in over 200 pounds. So we want it to be a little bit stiffer than it is um, factory. Now, if a person wanted to have a softer ride, they can do one of two things. They can take these pot metal things and cut them off, or they can just get some PVC pipe and cut them you know, a half inch, three quarters of an inch shorter than the factory ones, and that will give a little bit softer ride. But I believe that between having 
the right fork fluid in there, the intimidators in there, and using the same preload spacers, which is going to increase the preload pressure as if these were five eighths of an inch longer, it'll be just right for him. And if it's not, it's just a matter of taking it apart and putting it a different size uh, spacer in there. Once we're done draining the fluid out of here, we put the uh, bleeder screw back in. So here is how easy installing the intimidators are. Put them in the hole. Put the spring on top of it and push it down. The washer that goes between the spacer and the spring, drop it in there, drop it in there. We might have to use a screwdriver to flatten it out. That one is sitting flat now. And that one is sitting flat now. All right. What we can do, we can put our spacers in now or we can go ahead and put the fluid in right now. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put 11 ounces of fluid in each side. And again, when you order the intimidators, you can order fork fluid at the same time, or if you wanna get the fork fluid locally, you can do that. Just make sure that when you are using 39 millimeter and 41 millimeter intimidators, that you're using five weight fork oil if you're using the 49 millimeter intimidators, use 10 weight fork oil. Let's go four and a half ounces to make it easier. So we're gonna put 11 ounces in here. Here's the first four and a half. Let's do another four and a half. Now comes the fun part. What we have to do is we have to push this down until the, this cap gets all the way to the threads and then we have to turn it. Okay, so this is supposed to be at 22 pounds. There you go. There we are. So a lot of people get intimidated by the intimidators thinking that it's a big job. It's really not. You pull your handlebars, pull the bolt out, pull the spacer, the washer, the spring out, drain the fluid, put, this, put the uh, plug back in here, put your fork fluid in and put it back together, put your handlebars back on. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side here and we will be done with that and Mitch will have a much better ride because as in the video that uh, we'll put in the upper corner here when you when you improve your front suspension it makes your rear suspension feel better so we put better rear shocks on here now we put better front suspension on it's going to be a whole different ride for them so we're going to be putting the uh Handlebars back on after we get this tightened down to 22 foot pounds. And that is it. That is how to get a much improved front suspension on your bike. If you all have any questions about fitment, any comments, please email us at support at dkcustomproducts.com. You all ride safe out there.